A swimmer is 240 meters from the beach when he realizes that the tide is carrying him out to sea. If the velocity of the tide is 0.5 meters per second in the direction away from the beach and the swimmer is swimming or the swimmer can swim at a maximum speed of 0.8 meters per second part one in the question says calculate the maximum resultant velocity towards the beach okay so to work a question like this uh, we need to understand uh, the concept of our uh, vector quantities we know that vector quantities are quantities that have both magnitude and direction and since velocity is a vector quantity because it has both magnitude and direction we can use that principle to assist us in finding the resultant velocity vector so if we were to have an image of what so let's go down a little bit so if we were to actually um, get an image of what this scenario could look like okay so this is the swimmer swimming out to sea in this direction so the swimmer is swimming in this direction at the same time the tide is pulling him in the opposite direction away from the beach as the the question says and the speed at which he is swimming so let's say this is the beach with so let's let's just write beach so this is the beach which the swimmer is swimming toward and we said that the speed or the maximum speed that he can swim is 0 0.8 meters per second which is listed here but the wave or the tide is pulling him in the opposite direction because the velocity of the tide is 0 0.5 meters per second so we can say 0 0.5 meters per second so we have a vector a velocity vector going this direction and a velocity vector going in the opposite direction so one is going this way and the other one is going this way so to find our resultant vector all we need to do is just um, take the difference of these two vectors so we can say 0 0.8 meters per second minus 0 0.5 meters per second which gives us a value of 0 0.3 meters per second so this is what the resultant vector would be so basically what would happen is that uh, the swimmer will swim toward the beach with a speed of 0 0.3 meters per second now the part Part two of the question said we should find the shortest time which he can reach the beach. So to do this, so we're doing part two here. So this was part one. This was answer to part one. Now we're looking at part two. So shortest time to find the shortest time, we need to use our formula for velocity, which says that velocity is equal to displacement over time and the question actually tells us that the swimmer is 240 meters away from the beach and he wants to swim toward the beach so we want to find the shortest distance in which he can reach the beach so to do this we are interested in finding out the the time so we want to find the time so let me write this equation symbolically so we can say v is equal to s over t where s is our displacement t is our time and v is our velocity and to assist us a little let's use the magic triangle to rearrange this formula so we can find t so the magic triangle looks something like this and we fill it out by putting the velocity here let me use the same color
So we fill it up by putting the velocity here, displacement here, and time here. And to find the time, we simply isolate the time and look to see that the time is equivalent to the displacement over the velocity. So we write then that time, which we are interested in finding, is equal to displacement over velocity. So now we can substitute our value. So again, the distance or the displacement is 240 meters. 240 meters. And we said that the maximum speed was, this was the maximum speed toward the beach. So 240 divided by our velocity, which is the maximum velocity, uh, is 0 0.3 meters per second. And that works out to be 800 seconds. You can find more great physics tutorials like these over on my website at realgenerobertz.com.